Guys, it's happening. It's finally happening. After all these months of waiting, we finally got our first teaser of Grid AI. For those not in the know, Grid AI is the code name for the current update to Space Engineers, which completely overhauls AI. Marek Grosser sent out a tweet with a short video on it yesterday, which gives us our first glimpses at how Grid AI will work. Pause the video. Computer, enhance. On this drone, you can see there are six new blocks that we haven't seen before. On the left hand side, you can see one block with a rocket on it, which is blue and all the other new blocks are green. There's a block with gears on it, there's a block with an arrow on it, and on the right hand side, there's a block with a planet, a target, and a shield. So in this video, we get to find out what two of these is called. The rocket is called Momentum Controller Flight, and the planet is called Objective Controller Basic. When we get to that part of the video, I'll go through more how these work, but I want to briefly touch on the other ones. Quite obviously, the target, I'd imagine, indicates some sort of combat purpose. But then again, we also have the shield, and that seems like another combat one. So maybe one of them is the defensive AI, and the other one is an offensive AI. And on the left-hand side, we have the gears and the arrow. And we already have the flight controller and the objective controller. So I'm not really sure what the arrow is supposed to represent. So if you have any ideas, let me know in the comment below. And then the gears, again, I'm not really sure what this would be. If this was on a different ship, I suggest it's maybe something to do with production or something, or configuring the settings of blocks. But this ship only has thrusters, a battery and a gyro, and then two Gatling guns at the front. So I don't really see what the purpose this would serve on the ship. But again, if you have any ideas, let me know in the comment below. We move forward a couple of seconds. We'll see that they go into the terminal and we got our first look at the Objective Controller Basic. So at the bottom, you can see the Objective Controller Basic as follow home set as its objective. And a little bit further on, you see that they hover over select objective and we get to see all of the options. So there are three options here, which is follow home, follow player and autopilot. Now follow home seems to be quite simple. You set an objective as a home, whether that be beacon, antenna or GPS. And I know for a long time, people have been asking for a way to track antenna using the remote control block. And it looks like this block would be the answer to that. It also says here, it can be set to wander while it's in range. So I guess you can use this to kind of patrol a little bit around your base. We don't actually see that option in this clip though. The second option is follow player. Quite simple, you can follow the player. We do get a little preview of that later on in the video where you get to select the distance of how far it follows. So I'm guessing like the follow home, it will follow around at a set distance and we'll kind of just wander around at that distance. But this would be a great way to have those little drones that fly around and protect you or maybe a portable storage to keep with you as well. And the final option is also pilot. Now we don't see this in the video, but it looks like this is a successor to the way the remote control currently works. Works, and you can set it to patrol and circle locations. Be interesting to see how smart this autopilot is, as previously the remote control block didn't do a very good job of pathing around asteroids, or basically any voxel. So I'm imagining this autopilot will be a massive overhaul over the remote control block. A little bit further on in this clip, you'll see that they select follow player, and then click follow me, and then toggle the AI on. And when they toggle the AI on, the globe, which like I said, is the objective controller basic, turns blue. So I'm presuming that when they're blue, they're toggled on as active, and that when they're green, they just have power. And then you can see because it's set to follow player, the drone follows the player around for a bit. And then they go back and set the objective controller basic to follow home. They set the home to blue HQ and then it flies over to the blue HQ. Now, one of the interesting things to note is that this is the objective controller basic. So potentially there's a more advanced version of this. I'm guessing this version of the objective controller would potentially have a way of mining or welding, but I don't know. Maybe that's a different block. Maybe that's what the gear one does actually, but we'll have to wait and see. From this, we can also extrapolate there's probably multiple movement controllers. So potentially the arrow one we saw earlier is one for driving. Maybe it's called something like movement controller rover or something like that. It's very interesting how modular the system seems to be, as you have to place different blocks on your grid to create a different purpose for your ship. And I imagine that will probably make it a lot more accessible to new players. So I imagine the next question you probably have is, when is this releasing? The teaser for Warfare 2 came out roughly two months before the actual update released. However, the teaser video did come out just before Christmas, and I'd expect more than likely that they were on holiday over Christmas, so you could probably minus two weeks off of the time between the teaser and the actual release. I should also mention that Key normally have a community stream every week. However, there won't be one this week, so we won't find out anything else yet. However, there will be one next week on Thursday. So if I were you and you wanted to keep up to date with what's going on with Space Engineers, I would subscribe to Space Engineers' channel and turn on the bell. And whilst you're at it, you should subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell as well. As I promise, I'll keep you guys up to date with whatever's happening with Space Engineers. So let me know your theories on how you think this update will work and if you spotted anything else in this video worth mentioning. And as always, like and subscribe for more Space Engineers content.